the quickest place I could find to put him down was right in the bed with Herman. Herman is a wild pigeon, but what I saw next totally amazed me. I snapped a few pictures. It's like Herman tried to get on top of him and, and mother him, if you will. It just looks fake. How can they look that natural? Guys. Nice. Herman, you want some dog food? The Mia Foundation rescues animals with birth defects. Lundy came to me about a month ago. He was about four weeks old and he wasn't using his back legs like he should. I've been doing simple therapy with him. Are you ready for therapy? Lundy had his x-ray yesterday and he has no spinal deformity. So we are vamping up his physical therapy. <laughs> we have ruled a few things out at this point. Right, buddy? We've ruled out hydrocephalus. You can see he's pretty quick. <laughs> we're more than likely gonna need an MRI and he's just too small for that at this point. He's only one pound. He's in like a playpen, but it's kind of low to the ground. So that's how Herman came about. About a year and a half ago, I received a phone call with somebody that had found a pigeon in a car dealership parking lot, kind of in the same spot for like three days. He does have neurological issues, so he can't fly. He was pretty cute. He's got a little place in the sunroom, and I bring him down with the other animals throughout the day just to make his life a little more meaningful. I do try to put them together a couple times a day. No biting. Now Lundy is getting very puppyish, where Herman's toes look really good to chew on. Don't bite Herman. <laughs> They're really cute together. Everybody needs somebody, especially when you're not feeling good or you're just not 100%. It's just, it's amazing. It just all happened by chance. We have a pigeon that can't fly and a chihuahua that can't walk. Who would have ever thought? Like, comment, and subscribe.